<laughs> oh, hello. Hi, everybody. This here's Walnut Fox again. Yeah, I was uh, just, uh, yeah, just uh, kind of out doing some fishing. Hey, uh, you'll uh, notice that I uh, have a new skin. Our server, our family server, reset recently, so we decided as a, a group that we wanted to kind of play in survival, build some new shops, mess with the 1.14 stuff, so yeah, I uh, put on this old skin I've had for a while, and uh, we're kind of shipwrecked on an island, so I thought it'd be kind of neat to go that route, but um, anyways, uh, during that little process I was going through and uh, thinking to myself what do you need when you start out in the world when you're first getting going uh, you know you leave the spawn area you punch down a couple trees you start mining and then you start getting hungry and start fishing and it's, it's a good source of uh good source of food uh other whatnots but uh if you're under a tree it doesn't uh doesn't work all that great <laughs> so i thought that today i would uh, show you how to build an afk fish farm uh these are i'm sure these have been uh designed and uh, you may have seen them before but for the folks that uh have never seen them before this is it and they're really, really simple to build. Uh, only takes a few resources. Uh, three different ways that you can build them. Uh, I'm sure there's more, but these are the three that uh, I've looked at uh, that I've personally built in the past. So uh, to get started with uh, an AFK fish farm, you literally need these materials <laughs> two string the glass is optional uh, some co cobblestone or some building block of your choice iron one redstone dust and some oak logs uh, really that's honestly all that you need <laughs> um, I'm gonna put the fishing pole in there because we're gonna make a fishing pole too so yeah three different ways of doing it uh, one piece of redstone no moving parts everything is nice and neat uh, compacted into this one's five blocks long one wide two deep three if you count the pressure plate because it technically takes up a block right here this block here is uh, not required but it makes it easier to aim and kind of a nice place to stand in you don't get moved around much uh, this one is only three blocks by two by three if you add the glass it's only two blocks tall uh, and if you just happen to be somewhere where you can't dig down you can build up so I'll show you how to make all three of these AFK fish farms All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our materials that we gathered up earlier, one piece of sand, two string. Like I said, the glass is optional, but it sure is helpful if you're building it underground. The building block of your choice, eight iron ingots. I mean, that's like, what, five, maybe ten minutes worth of uh, mining tops in a brand new world so uh, one redstone dust you've probably found if you're like most players you're headed to level 11 you're gonna find some redstone before you find diamonds so and 12 logs so punch down like three trees <laughs> pretty easy so I always just turn all those to my planks first okay uh, and we're going to need two chests minimum. 
Uh, if you want a double chest, you'll need three chests. Uh, we will need the one piece of redstone makes one note block. One of your chests will make a hopper. The other three is for a bucket because you need a bucket of water. Then what we need is we need a couple sticks. Actually, you're going to need two sets of sticks. We'll make one fishing pole, three sticks and two strings. That's what two strings are for, so probably have to kill one spider normally. Sometimes it takes more, and then we'll need one fence, not a fence gate, but a fence. Uh, and it's going to leave you three extra sticks, which is always fun. Okay. And then we'll need a pressure plate. And now the, the oak trap doors are going to be for the one that's above the ground, the most compact one. So you need, uh, I use three. Uh, can't make three, <laughs> so you gotta have four. All right, and that is it. That is 100% plum just done. You actually only need one oak fence, or any fence, doesn't have to be oak. All right, so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna we're gonna build the one that you're just kind of this is the edge of a hill here and you're just gonna punch into it and say I'm gonna fish here for the night make sure that you're <laughs> make sure that you're underneath a block <laughs> first and maybe put a couple blocks around you just to keep just to keep bad guys from coming to get you <laughs> you know what I mean so right on here's what we're gonna do first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna punch out a hole five blocks long right one two three four five counting with whoever's minecrafting today yay the middle three we're gonna go down one more block we can do all this from standing up here right okay put your chest in uh, if you want to put a double chest here you'd have to break these two blocks but, uh, and double up the chest, you're going to get a lot of stuff, trust me, especially if you AFK overnight. Your hopper will be pointing into it, remember? If you just right-click on it, you'll open up the chest to make sure that it points into that chest. Hold Shift and right-click, and you'll see that the little tail down there is facing the end of the hopper. I have a resource pack from VanillaTweaks.net that shows the direction the hopper faces. It's super handy when you're building stuff in your world to, uh, especially if you have to have hoppers facing a specific direction, super handy. Go check it out. It's vanillatweaks.net. All right. And we set our fence post on top of the hopper. You can either right click on the side there or hold shift or you'll just open up the hopper and place it on the top. Okay. Here's where our water bucket comes in. Find you the closest source of water. That's interesting because, uh, yeah, I forgot I was in. I play so much in survival mode that I forgot that I can't pick up water in creative. Hmm. Anywho. And thanks to 1.13, if we have this hole here, water is going to flow back there. You don't even have to worry about it right here. You're going to update this block all you want, and it will not flow this way. We put our one piece of redstone in and our pressure plate, and that's all we have to do. Then we can sit down here. Um, you're probably going to want to shift and put a block. I like chests because they not only block the sound of this, but I can keep my fishing poles in there. 
just stand here on the chest. Aim right there. And there it is. That took us all of, you know, 10 to 20 minutes in a brand new world, and you've got an AFK fish farm. You're going to produce fish. I mean, how else are you going to feed all these cats that are spawning in our man-made village from uh, our iron farm, right? And there it is. Right on. Automatically, Hopper automatically picks it up, puts it in the chest for you. Great news. All right. So, my uh, compact version here. Uh, again, if you're limited on space, you just want a little tiny thing in the corner, in the corner of your starter house here. This one is uh, only three blocks wide. It can only be one block wide if you didn't have the double chest, uh, and uh, just two blocks tall, sticking out of the ground. So it's three total. Uh, remember, if you build it underground, you want sky access to it it works better that way so here's what we do we put our chest in the ground again it doesn't have to be a double chest it can be a single uh, we'll just we'll just keep it a single chest for right now all right make sure you point your hopper into the chest. If you point it over there, it's not going to do anything, right? Hold down shift to place that there. Put your fence post over your hopper. Make sure it's uh, you hold shift. This is where your trap doors come in. One there. If you just aim at the bottom of your fence post, it'll put them in the exact correct order in the right spots your one piece of redstone your pressure plate and uh, you know if you if you want to block the sound you can I like to because it makes it look nicer that way and uh, you know you don't have to worry about turning volumes down and then waterlog your fence post right so now You stand on your trap door here, aim right at the top of your pressure plate, and there it is. Just like, uh, just like it was meant to be. You can't quite see the uh, note block under there. I mean, you can see the black outline. It's just that that black outline is pretty close to the same as the chest. So as long as your crosshairs are just above that pressure plate when it's activated your when your bobber activates it there you go there it is caught a fish already just like that and it keeps everything nice and clean too remember you know mobs can't spawn on top of the trap doors uh, they won't spawn on pressure plates uh, they don't spawn on chests um, of course, cats do love to sit on top of chests, so uh, if you're underground, though, make sure that you have a hole up to the sky, put some glass up there so that you get better results, okay? Right on. So, now all we have to do is we have to build this one, and I think, did I have some slabs in the... Yeah, well, I thought I had slabs in the chest. But anyway, you're going to need a slab for this one. Uh, let's say you're down at the bottom of your world under your base. And you happen to be down by bedrock. And you can't move any more of the blocks out of your way. And you just kind of have to build up. Well, this is the case for this. So... Uh, again, does not have to be a double chest. It can be a single chest. Uh, if you do much AFK, and trust me, you're going to want to go, you know, three or four blocks down here and make a hopper zigzag and and 
chests. That way you've got uh, extra capacity. Uh, you can fill three double chests in an e in a night, you know, while you're just asleep. So um, this is just the bare minimum on building these. So so if you can't dig down, you got to build up. You need a place for your water to go. And then a place for your one piece of redstone to sit. And that's it. Uh, again, a slab, a pressure plate, a, a, any block, anything will keep this from making noise. Granted, you can put different, uh, different blocks under there to make it make different sounds. But sometimes they're just super super annoying so we won't worry about that all right place your fence post in and then when you waterlog your fence post it'll all flow back here because that's the way the new water mechanics work place your pressure plate right on top of your fence post a slab and remember, I mean, if you're building this underground, I mean, you can make it look however you want. You know, use stairs, make it look like a little fountain thing. But you're definitely going to want to put a hole to the sky with a piece of glass up there. Because with sky access, these work so much better. Okay. Uh, there's also a variation on this. If... Uh, you don't want to use this slab here and use use it from this angle where you're just hitting the bottom of the uh, note block there. Uh, you can place your note block there. To save some save some height and then work off the top of your chest it's just yeah you just don't want to get too close because the water likes to drag you in there and then just aim at the top of your pressure plate and it should give us a should give us results uh, pretty quick there it is all right Oh, tripwire hook. Good. Now we can build a we can build our uh, crossbow that we want, right? Right on. So there's three different designs that you can use. Uh, and I know what you're saying. You're saying, "Hey, uh, uh, you dummy! They fixed all this AFK stuff, right? They you can't use the F11." Alt tab out and do all that crap. What are you What are you talking about there, Mister? Well, uh, yeah, you you would be right. They did, but there's still an AFK trick in the game. So here's what here's how to do it. You get your get your bobber cast, and while your bobber is cast, press F3 and T. To reload the resource packs and let go of everything and when this comes back up you'll notice that my guy's still fishing and I'm clapping my hands to show you that um, I don't have a hold of the mouse or the keyboard and there it goes you can run that all night if you want to fill you up a couple see there you go without any interaction from me so fill up a couple double chests tonight full of uh, goodies right the only, the way to get that back when you're done in the morning is just right click your mouse controls come right back and you're going to catch fish you're going to catch salmon you're going to catch Tripwire hooks, lily pads, bones, tons and tons of saddles. My God, are you going to get some saddles? Uh, you're going to get enchanted books, enchanted fishing rods, uh, enchanted 
bows, you're going to get the best uh, best start in the game. So what's going to happen is, is eventually you're going to go and you're going to have enough enchanted fishing rods in your chest that you're going to be able to build the best one you can get. And it's got Unbreaking 3, Mending, Luck of the Sea 3, and Lure 3. It doesn't have to be in that order. But your first couple of fishing rods, as you use them, the durability goes down. So you have to be uh, constantly giving yourself a new fishing rod. Uh, but every fish you catch uh, gives you, there we go, see that? Experience gained. So uh, gives you uh, some experience and it keeps your your fishing rod mended. And you'll notice that with uh, Lure 3 and Luck of the Sea 3, it's going to uh, more frequently give you fish or treasure or the trash, <laughs> you know, I think is what it's coded as in the uh, in the game itself. So yeah, so and it will constantly mend itself, and it will never break. So you can stand there infinitely. It might take you two two regular fishing poles to get enough of these to put together in an anvil. Yeah, I said you were only going to need eight pieces of iron, but uh, you know. Everybody needs an anvil. I mean, you're going to have more than eight. It's it's it, it's okay. Might take you a minute or two, but it's all right. So you combine those in an anvil, or just use a mending rod, and you're going to get a bunch. You're going to get tons of XP. Uh, if we go to game mode. survival I'm already at level 5 <laughs> and I've caught like 6 fish <laughs> so it's uh yeah yeah it ain't gonna take you long so any who's uh, hopefully that we've got all of that took care of I wish you luck in your fishing and uh, you guys have uh, any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down there. If you think I did an okay job on my video or you could use the information, uh, leave me a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. i got some good ideas for the new server, and I'm going to have, uh, have a fun time playing on it. So uh, remember, uh, have some fun and play some games. See ya.